Thank you for purchasing the Disney Baby Finding Nemo Sea of Activities Jumper. This video will guide you in assembling your jumper. If you have additional questions, please refer to your instruction manual or call our helpful consumer services department at 1-800-230-8190. This video should not be used in lieu of your instruction manual. To set up your Finding Nemo Sea of Activities jumper, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver and six AA batteries. Three will go in the turtle shell and three will go into the Nemo spinner toy. Please refer to your instruction manual to help you identify part numbers as you proceed. To begin, locate part number 16, the short base tubes, and part number 17, the long base tubes. There are two of each. These will become the base of the jumper. Snap the base tubes together with the two long tubes opposite each other and the two short tubes opposite each other. Use the metal locking pins and snap them into place in all four corners. Check to make sure the pins are completely extended through the holes for a secure connection. Pull to make sure they are secure. The rubber feet should face downward. Here's a tip. To make it easier to install the last tube, slide both ends onto the tube, but don't lock them into place with the pins until both ends are inserted. Then, rotate the tube so that the locking pins snap into the holes securely. Now it's time to attach the tabletop. First, position the tabletop so that the logos are on the same side as the base, part number 17, that has the extra curvy tubes. To add the legs, locate part number 15, the metal arms with springs. There are four of them. Insert them vertically into the base tubes where the four feet are located and ensure the metal locking pins are completely extended through the holes for a secure connection. Pull to make sure they are secure. Repeat for all four legs. Assembling the seat pad. To begin assembling the seat pad, first locate the seat ring, part number 19, inside the play surface and remove it by pushing tabs from underneath and pulling upward. There are three tabs to depress to release the seat from the table. Locate the seat pad, part number 14, and the small black tabs around the opening. To make sure that the seat pad is installed in the proper direction, notice that one side of the seat ring is elevated. This is the back of the seat. Align the fabric seat pad so that the characters are in the back where the seat ring is higher. Flip the seat ring over and pull the fabric down over the ring while lining up the black tabs with the slots in the seat ring. Make sure the tabs are pulled upward so that each can snap into the slots located in the seat ring. There are six total. Make sure all six tabs are connected completely. The fabric fits tightly, so it will make installation easier if you start with the two tabs in the back of the seat ring and then work around to the front. Now it's time to add the seat to the play surface. Set the seat ring into the middle of the play surface. It spins, so there's no front or back. Press down so that all three of the locking tabs snap into place and the seat easily rotates 360 degrees. To double check, look underneath to make sure that the tabs are secure. Here's a tip. If the seat doesn't spin easily, there may be fabric from the seat pad stuck under the seat ring. Make sure that the fabric tabs are in place under the seat. You can pull up gently on the fabric to make sure that no fabric is stuck under the seat ring. Next, it's time to add the toys to the tabletop. Start by locating the Nemo Spinner Ball, part number six, and install the batteries which are located beneath it. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, open the compartment at the bottom of the spinner toy and install three AA batteries, paying attention to the positive and negative indicators. Turn on the toy and spin the ball spinner to start the music and lights. If the electronics do not work, double check that the batteries are installed correctly. Then, replace the compartment door using the screwdriver and snap it into the play surface in the slot provided. Twist the clips underneath the toy by 90 degrees in a clockwise direction to lock this toy into place. There are two clips. Now, locate part number 10, the Squirt Turtle electronic toy. Using the screwdriver, remove the compartment door on the back of the turtle's shell only. There is only one screw to be removed in the center of the turtle's shell. Install three AA batteries as indicated. Turn the turtle on and press one of the keys on his belly to start the music and lights. If the electronics do not work, double check that the batteries are installed correctly. Then, replace the compartment door using the screwdriver. 
then snap the turtle into its position on the tabletop. The final step is to follow the instruction manual as a guide and snap all the toys into the play surface. Align the holes and push down to snap into place. Adjusting the height. To adjust the height, simply locate the rectangular tabs on the outside of the legs and tilt it downward to move up or down to the appropriate slot that best fits baby's height. Repeat to move the tabs to the same slot on all four legs. The ball of baby's feet should touch the floor. Thank you for purchasing the Finding Nemo Sea of Activities Jumper. We continuously improve our products. Images in this video may differ from the products currently available.